As you may have noticed, Captiva's beaches have been undergoing some work. A beach nourishment program started on August 24th, 2021. The Captiva Erosion Prevention District contracted the Great Lakes Dredge and Dock Company to transport 750,000 cubic yards of sand from a borough site located six miles offshore to the beaches of Captiva. That's nearly two billion pounds of sand. This $18 million project has to be repeated approximately once every 10 years. The funds come from a combination of local taxpayers, parking fees from the Allison Hagerup Beach Park, along with state and national grants. The nourishment process starts six miles offshore, where two dredgers are excavating sand off the seabed under the watchful eye of environmental advisors. The borrow site has been pre-surveyed to make sure the granular size and color of the sand match the existing Captiva beaches. This massive operation is going on 24 hours a day, subject to mechanical breakdown or weather. Two dredgers bring the excavated sand back to around two miles offshore, at which point they connect to a support vessel which pumps the sand back through a large underwater pipeline to the beachhead. The project started at the southern end of Captiva at Blind Pass and will end at the northern end by Redfish Pass. There will be two pipelines bringing the sand ashore. The first one is the one you see here. It will serve the first half of the nourishment program. Firstly heading south, as the work is completed, the pipeline is dismantled and then reassembled to head north. Once the first half of the project is completed, a new pipeline will be constructed and will be located just north of Allison Hagerup Beach Park, where the process will repeat, the pipeline firstly heading south and then heading back north to Redfish Pass. As you can see, they have managed to nearly double the beach in some areas. The beach will be up to 100 feet in width at some points. The beach nourishment not only has recreational benefits, but also has huge implications in storm and flood protection for the island and its residents. The dune system is being fortified with both sand and planting of natural binding vegetation like sea oats. During this process, any turtle nests on the beach have been relocated. As of right now, you can visit Turner Beach and see just how much progress they have made. The project is planned to be finished by the end of October. Plan to make a trip to the new Captiva beaches as soon as possible. I'm sure you will be impressed. My name is Nick Adams. Come and see me on the next one.